This guy just keeps coming back, man. After a fast start to this wipe, Snipe and I were keen to keep things rolling. If you're after some context as to how we got to where we are at this stage of the wipe, then I'd recommend watching my most recent video, A Fast Start. There's a YouTube card in the top right corner now. I, I can see them griefing us. I can see them compounding us in. <laughs> But anyway, we just returned from a recycle run at water treatment, and it seemed that one of the guys we'd raided the night before, understandably, wasn't too happy about it. Oh, it's just wood. That's not gonna work, mate. You know your shit. Look at you. Look at you lurking, scouting, like you know your shit. It's simple, you just know your shit. Look. Hit a shot. Please hit a shot. Please hit a shot. Please hit a shot. Thank you. Please hit a shot. Please hit a shot. Please hit a shot. Thank you. I'm so sorry that you guys had to sit through that, but you get the point. This kid was mad, so we swiftly dealt with this poor attempt at a TC grief and thought it was best that we whack down some of our own external TCs. We then used the scrap that we'd gathered to essentially finish the tier 3 tech tree. We finished tier 3 except for incendiary ammo. Oh, holy shit. You've been grinding some GP, boy. Now, Snipe had been doing some work while I was out that day, so we could pretty much pick up right where we left off the night before, doing some raiding. There was an active compound base nearby that we thought would be a bit of fun to give an online raid to, so we headed over to scope it out. Yeah, let's go. We can go suss out that base. Just have a look, quick look now. See what what it would cost to raid, because I mean it's a it's got sheet metal at the top, but to be honest, it looks a similar design. Like I think it's just triangles on the inside and then squares off of it, so it'd be two walls to the core. But with rockets, might as well go down through the. Oh, okay, it's like a triangle on the middle, and then it squares off of that. As we got closer, we could hear some movement inside, which was our cue to head back to base and craft up some rockets. We just flame raid through this um, external wall. Alright, should we just go do that? Do it while there's online, maybe? Alright, should we go over? By the time we get there, it'll be day. All right, it's probably almost down. this triangle here, like right in that middle bit. Ready? Uh, just keep going that same, same spot. I didn't get a chance to armor it. He's in there. He's trying to move loot. Dead. 
Uh, I think I think we're I think we're in. Just gonna put a wall down. I brought a little bit. Yeah, I got enough. Oh damn! They got some oh, not much good like components, but <laughs> I think they were kind of grubbing it, dude. Yeah. Uh, there's some. There's a bit of farm. Porn Tarkin. Oh man, there's so much cloth. There's like, oh dude, there's like four and a half thousand cloth. What the hell? <laughs> you can come look at this box with me. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, I, I didn't actually see this box. I mean, when you add it up, we definitely didn't make profit on sulfur or anything, but there's a decent amount. There's probably like 10k worth of sulfur back. I'm kind of sad he didn't put up a fight. He had a, he had a Tommy. <laughs> After that, we heard Chopper spawn. But sadly, a group in the north took it down. Ah, uh, fuck dude, someone's taken it, I think. It looks like it's smoking. Ah, uh, it just went down, dude, just went down. And by the time we went to counter, it had already been looted. I mean, the more shooting, the better, right? I haven't even seen where the actual crash site is yet. It's probably almost out, though, to be honest. Heard movement. Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Dead. Just gonna grab this guy, sir. Yeah, it's, it's gone, dude. 100%. I got a mid. Can you put a wall down if you got some? Thank you. That's definitely who took it. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> well, back to farming, I guess. On the way back to base, we stopped by the base that we almost counter raided only two days earlier. The reason for this being that they now had a shop set up right next door. And to our surprise, they'd progressed quite a bit. Okay, so they had a little couple of little shops by the looks of it. I tell you what man, this is this is a raid target, I reckon. We're just gonna get up this hill, have a look at it. I reckon it's a two by two honeycombed. I reckon it'd be similar to our design, without the sneaky bunker. Like if we were gonna hit that, that'd be those rock like rocket in between the triangles there would give us access to the 3x3 three three. and then we could just hit that which would probably be sheet metal or, or armoured. How did the old shop go today? Sold out? What do you mean our shop is sold out? Yeah sold out, 850 sulfur, not bad. Okay, it's a bit of juice. After a quick little farm run, we went to scout out the base in daylight to see what we were working with. What do you reckon we need to raid that base? Yeah, like stone, sheet metal, armored, maybe? That's doable, I feel. I think they had a few turrets, but. Howdy, neighborinos. And we noticed these guys had left the ladder hatch of their base open, so I couldn't resist building in. It is open, yeah, it's definitely open. Oh, 
Oh, what the? I died so fast. I actually died so fast. <laughs> Must have jumped like right in the middle of two, two fences. There's a turret here, but you can pick it out because there's a <laughs> there's a uh, stone wall underneath it. Oh, fuck, dude, they're shitting the furnaces. No. The dude's name was Mac Dukes. Do you remember that dude's name? And to be honest, at the time we didn't remember this guy's name, but his teammate Ella Louise, we surely did remember. Looking back on my footage from this wipe, Ella Louise was everywhere. From the player I grubbed at water treatment, to the counter raid and tier three yoink near Harbor. And finally the PVP encounter close to outpost. To say this player was active was an absolute understatement, and if we were paying more attention to the names of people we'd encountered, we probably would have decided to raid this base a lot sooner. Uh, I can drop this stuff out though I think, if you come to the front gate. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh. Okay, now I can get up the ladder. Oh, dude, so much hemp. <laughs> oh, dude, it's, it's locked now. It's closed. Yeah, it must have been glitched, man. It must have looked like it was... Alright, I'm gonna die at the gate here. Hopefully you can loot me. When we got back to base, I wasted no time crafting up explosives. And while I was doing that, Snipe was testing out the new aimbot that he got for Christmas. He was also keeping an eye out for Chopper, which was due to spawn anytime. Is it his mate taking off or is it his... He activated the boat and the boat left. <laughs> what a dog. That's a chopper. That's a chopper. That's a chopper. Get that AK out, boy. Oh, is it rocking in yet? So when we we were trying to take it down in the water, yeah. Just gotta keep it aggro. Here we go. This is it. Oh shit! It's down. Oh man, those two taps killed it. Okay, now are you kidding me? <laughs> I literally tapped it twice to try and keep it aggro. I don't see anyone yet. It's an airdrop coming in, which isn't the worst thing. That's good, but it's also like I won't, if they push the wall, I won't be able to see them once they get to the wall, but we got a pretty good line of sight here. It's gonna be hard for anyone to rock up, I think, once they come in a massive group. 
the chopper takedown went pretty smoothly, and we scored an M249, the deadliest weapon in the game. We both took a break for a bit, and a few hours later when we logged back in, Chopper had just respawned. A base of the north was trying to take it down in the snow, so we thought we'd get on the move early so we didn't miss the opportunity to counter. There's a dude here. <laughs> you got an airdrop. Can we try and yoink it away at the last second? Take it away from their base at least so it's not in the line of their M2s. Oh, it's so it is about to go down. Hit it. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. Snipe and I don't claim to be PvP gods, and we knew that yoinking chopper loot from another group in their own territory was risky business. But as they say, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. There's down. Where is it though? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to try and get on the on the forwards here? Like, get in front of it and put a wall down? Yeah, some dude's about to come out, I think. That's so close to a headshot. Let's go. Man, these guys, like, maybe they are just like a duo or something. Where is he? Did he go? Is he still in the bushes? Headshot him. Ah, oh, he's dead. He's full dead. Fuck me. Oh man, I'm running bolty every day. Rocket C4. Attachments. Rocket C4? <laughs> How's it going? Let's get out of here, dude. Thanks for the loot, fellas. Oh man, that's the best way to take Chopper. After that, it was time to do a final scout of Mac Dukes' base. And since they seemed to be offline at the time, we took the opportunity to make some preparations which would hopefully allow the raid to go a bit smoother. We planned to take over an external TC, which would allow us to place a turret for raid defense. You reckon... Yeah, maybe this this one here. Yeah, that works. Didn't all go in, but I should do the job. And while Snipe was busy doing that, I jumped into the compound to pick out the stone floor beneath one of the turrets. Now we had all of our explosives already crafted, and with the added boost of the boom we just gained by countering that chopper, we were literally only a few minutes away from getting this show on the road. Yo, dude, I just got killed through the fucking floor. The turret shot me through the through the floor. Cool, cool, cool. And now there's a dog. I might as well spawn a base and fucking bring over some picks. And a T1. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. Man, this was frustrating to say the least. Forty-eight rounds. <laughs> so where do you reckon it? You reckon this is the 
this side's the way to go. Should we put this TC down while I'm here though? They won't like while I got it. That's well. So we can just put it as close as possible. We were uh, getting a bit sloppy. Between already botching the TC build and me dying to this turret, we definitely wasted some time. We really should have been raiding by now, but little did we know, all these mistakes were really a blessing in disguise. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, they're in the compound now. kind of lucky that we went back to um, put the TC down, otherwise we would have been back at base with the rockets. <laughs> I might need to reschedule. <laughs> Alright brother, I'm gonna get the sec. Hopefully uh, we survive. <laughs> if we start getting online raided, just uh, send me a few messages and see if I wake up. <laughs> now it's always risky logging off with a bunch of explosives in your base, but it was already late for me. and. Did I mention that I came up with one of the sneakiest loot room base designs that you'll ever see? Uh, yes, we're good. I'm not kidding. I've done my Jews googling to see if this base design has been done before, and I couldn't really find it anywhere. So what we're gonna do is, if this video can get 750 likes within a week of its upload, then I'll do a full tutorial in one of my next videos. I'm not shitting you, it's actually insane. And it's probably going to be patched at some point once the Rust developers catch wind of it. But yeah, as a, as a thank you to all you guys supporting the channel, I think it's only fair that I share it with you. So let's try and get to that 750 likes on this video. But anyway, let's get back to the story. Well, shall we uh, go check up an old Mac dude's space? <laughs> this Mac Dukes dude is outside his base right now. TC still hasn't been replaced, but yeah, he's definitely on. He's got a turret looking at his front gate now. I mean, do we give this guy an online raid? I just want to double check, see if he's put another turret inside, because like... I'm all for an online raid, but I don't want to fucking just run over there and lose all our rockets straight away, you know? Yeah, so there's a turret back in the spot that I, like, picked it out last night. And then there's one on the other side as well. And there's one looking at the front gate. This base was now pretty heavily fortified, with a few additional turrets than the night before. And there was at least one of them online, so we loaded up our rockets and headed over. Uh, there's a rocket launcher in this box for you. And six HVs. Okay, now that's a lot of rockets, dude. TC, dude. 
How are we gonna go shooting that <laughs> tyrant from here, you reckon? Yeah, three, two, one. Is it gone? It's gone, it's gone. Alright, get this TC down. Uh, yeah, it's gone. Nice. Free stack of ammo. So you reckon middle, middle or this one? I'm thinking this one here. Because I was thinking this one here, like... These are foundations here. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're foundations. So maybe like, next one up. Uh, go for it. TC. You got you got this. <laughs> you got those satchels. You got the satchel that TC. Uh, let's go, dude. There's people outside, I think. Any time now. Oh, dude, look at this this uh, furnace. Oh, and look at, dude, look at this furnace. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that just killed him. Making, making a new TC. Oh, look at the components. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing is loaded, dude. 900. Dukes. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> he was online like 10 minutes ago. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, man. Dude, look at the load. They got 2,000 crude. Another four times, another AK. Fucking hell, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Like 1,500 hardcore. Yeah, top level, top level is open, like a little bit at least. Oh yeah, it's open. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. This base was insanely loaded. So we used the rockets we had left to open up the inner core. Just tools and shit. Oh, there's garage doors. Overall we made some pretty insane profit on this base. 
mainly in the form of components, weapons, and high quality. But there was also a decent amount of sulfur in the furnace to boot. Flawless victory. The real cherry on top, however, was that this was an online raid. No, no, no. I'm not losing my mind. One of the base owners had actually respawned halfway through the raid, at which stage we hadn't actually accessed the top level, where there were guns. And they just kind of stood there and watched us raid their base. It was all very weird. <laughs> Why was he trying to make him play, dude? After having a good chuckle about that, we loaded up all the components and scrapped them at Outpost. We then ran all the best loot back to our compound and then chopper spawn and I stayed up too late again taking it down but I don't regret it for one second because it was seriously fun and it was also an excellent way to cap off a fantastic wipe. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and consider dropping a sub so you don't miss out on future uploads. Take it easy everyone. I'll see you next time.